How many of you love traveling? Raise your finger. All of you. How many of you can ride cycle? All of you. So let me take you to the one yatra, a journey of awakening, a journey of myself in which I discovered my own self, which connected me with my own origin, my own native. So today we are going to talk about this, the journey of awakening, Narbada Prerna Yatra. So as a small town boy was being born and brought up at the bank of the river Narbada, the place name is called Baruch, one of the oldest city in India. So I was studying in the small municipal schools. I never seen computers till standard 12, never uh, like travel by the train till standard 12, never seen a very big city. In standard 12, first time I visited Ahmedabad, I was just shocked. So I never imagined that my career will start from the small municipal schools to hi-fi colleges like Triple IT, Bangalore, I studied in Malmo University, Sweden. So like in all other middle town boys, my thinking was limited that time to get a good education, good degree and good job. That was like, I was living that life. Certainly I got that education, I got the degree, got gold medal and all the things, I got very good job. So my life was all set according to my parents, family, yeah, Nikin is on the right track. But one day, I took a step back. I left my job, put resignation, and the next day I took a train back to my own city, Bharuj. I came back home. The decision was quite shocking for all of my relatives, families, parents, you know, professors. It was something, you know, I was under conflict, my mind was under conflict. I was not able to answer some of the questions. So I started trying self-introspection, what really I want to do in my life. So that kind of self-introspection led to certain questions, which was being asked to me. When I was in Sweden, I got an honor to represent our nation as an international student among 200 students across the world. So in one of the events in the university, open house, that's called open house event, I was representing India standing at a stall and I was showing something about India and all. So lots of people came to my stall and they asked me different questions about India, about my own city, about the Narbada region and all. There are so many questions they asked and certainly I answered them. They might be satisfied with my answers, but probably I myself was not satisfied with those answers. There was something missing in my answers. So after the event, like something popped up in my mind. Do I really know about my country? Do I really know about where I belong from, the region, the city and all? Do I really connected with my roots? So these are the, some of the questions keep popping up in my mind. And the first thing, the first step I've done to seek answers for this question, I started Yatras. I decided to travel the nation. So I got an opportunity to travel Jagriti Yatra, the whole nation, the world's uh, longest train journey, to travel the whole India, deep and that of India, I met the amazing people, amazing role models who are working for the society in the local town, local villages, but they are giving the new meaning to that place. They are creating the miracles. They are making that place famous or say known to the whole world by their own work, by using the local resources and the community. I was deeply inspired by them. I went to deep into the Himalayas. I met amazing people there as well. So while sitting one day at the bank of river Gange, Again, the same question popped up in my mind. Do I really know my region, Narbada? I was connect myself with while I was sitting at the bank of river Narbada. The same question was popping up, but this time the intensity was more. I was, my mind was really educated because of this kind of question. So certainly I thought that after returning back to the home, the next day I packed my bag, I took my bike and just left for the exploration of my own region, the Narbada Valley, which I have never explored before. I was living there since last 30 years, but I have never explored the same region with a different mindset to identify the real people, the real beauty of that. And during this journey, I have discovered a lot of amazing facts about my own region. I met amazing people who are working selflessly, effortlessly at the ground level, creating value for the people in the different sector, whether it's health, education, agriculture. And I was again deeply inspired. There are so many people, there are so many beautiful places, amazing tourism places, but nobody, like even myself never discovered those. Basically, if you, like, if you want to pass by my city, this is the bridge, you can see here, yeah? it hardly takes 15 minutes without traffic. 
to pass by my city. It's only 15 minutes. Okay. So I thought that let me bring or let me take this 15 minutes to a four days journey to explore this region with a different mindset. Let me showcase the world, the real potential of my own region to the world. The kind of amazing opportunities lies in this region. The kind of amazing people are living here. And that's how the, my project Narbada Prerna Yatra has evolved. So basically, Narbada Prerna Yatra is a four days journey that we started in August 2014, the first edition we took. We took the highly motivated youth from the different state, different background, different education background, economic background, and all our different people came together at the one platform. And we are trying to show them who are the real heroes of this nation, of this region, how they are creating the value. We take them to the deep and depths of the villages. We show them even in the villages they are creating the successful businesses without having any good help, support from the government or external help. Still, they are creating the successful miracles. So that's how we started the yatra, the four days journey, in which we made different people. So I am feeling very proud to introduce these real heroes, which is surrounding by ourselves, but we never discovered those people. Okay, when you think about the quality education, what came into your own mind? Quality education. It means good private school, good international school, they can only provide the good quality education. But if you meet our role model, Kamlesh Bhai, it will challenge your belief system. The kind of work he is doing by sitting at the very small remote village with the tribal people is creating the miracle, a good quality learning center. If you visit his school, Sardanagar school located in the Walia village, with all the tribal kids, they are providing excellent quality education. And after seeing, visiting this school, when I asked him, uh, uh, Kamlesh Bhai, you must be getting lots of government support and fund. His answer was no. He's created all this thing using local resource and local community health without having any government fund. So he's a real person you can get inspiration from in the education. The school he is creating amazing learning environment. In every, if you see the walls, there is something to learn. If you go the stairs, you will get something to learn. The second model, like Dr. Anil Bhai and his wife Lata Ben. The couple who is having the highest education in medicine, working well in the USA, left all the lucrative career and just heard their inner call and came back to Narbada region. And they have created a very amazing organization called Seva Rural, to catering the need of the healthcare in the rural people. It's like one of the base organizations right now in the India. It provides the better healthcare facilities to the poor people. So these are the people, you know, they have created without any hand. Even when I ask the same question, Anil Bhai, you must be getting lots of fund and all. No, we just created with the help of friends and local community and the local resources. You know, so these are the people, the real heroes. Now, when we think about the entrepreneurship, startup and business, what we think? We think about the big successful e-commerce sites. They are the successful entrepreneurs. But we never try to see the real entrepreneurs, which has lies next to your door. Okay? Let me introduce you our successful entrepreneur, Gita Ben. She hardly went to school. But now she is running a very successful business. And the main thing is how she has utilized the local resources and local community. If you see that the Baruch region has offered a lot in the banana, we have the biggest crop of banana in our region. But still the farmers are not getting the right value. We don't have any enterprise which are you know, catering the need, which are using those resources. She has set up a very small unit of banana vapor near Raj Pipla and just started, she employed few women. Okay, and now she is starting, now it's getting lots of success. In a day, she is earning around 10,000 rupees in a day. Employing more than 10 women. And when we talk about her, she was more excited that how she is creating value for her community. How she is encouraging the woman to live a dignity, life with the dignity. That is the main thing she is doing. She was not like excited about the money she is getting, but the kind of value she is creating for the society. Now, if you see that the Badam village, it's famous for the wafer. So this all people are creating value for their own locality. So these are the things really, you know, pinch in my mind. That is what I am doing for my own locality. What we can do. Using Narbada Prerna Yatra, it's just an effort to create a value of my own region. To show the region with the people with a different mindset. So there are lots of things we are doing. So when we go for the Yatra, we have a different kind of youth. The different age group used to come here. It's not about the outer exploration. We don't just go and travel four days, meet the different people. It's more about the inner journey. That start within the participants after coming to the Yatra. Let me share a few of the stories like the student Divya Pandey. 
the Banasali MBA students came here. Before coming, she never seen been to the rural school. She was thinking that only the school education must be we have to take from the good private school. They only cater to the quality education. But after coming here, after meeting the Kamlesh Bai, she was damn inspired now trying to do a small project in her own university for the underprivileged kids. Ankur Mistri, a software engineer, came from Mumbai. After visiting the Seva Rural Organization, he thought that I do, I must do something for my own locality, must do something for the NGOs and all. He developed a mobile app for the blood donation. A guy from a small village called Mahesh, the Mathasar village, very rural, small village with a very less population, without having road transportation facility. We took them to the Yatra, the rural youth, and showed this small enterprise, banana wafer enterprise. After getting inspiration now, instead of doing, going to the city and do a job now, he's more inspired to do, start a small banana wafer business in own village and creating more employment opportunity for the rural kids like him. So these are the things, these are the kind of impact we are creating. It's just not about the outer journey, it's create the profound impact in the thought process of the participants. How they think about their own locality. After going back to home, now they think their own region with a different perspective, which we never thought about. Let me think about myself. When I was seeing my own city, Baruch, before 20 years back, it was something. There was no opportunity. That's why I left for the higher study to Bangalore. I started a job. I went to Europe just because of I was never explored my own region with a different perspective. And this is not the story of my own. It's the story of all the middle town boy like me, thousands and hundreds and lakhs of youth. Because they never try to explore the same region with a different mindset. Everybody wants to go to the bigger city, migrate there for a good job, but they never explore. If I go to the, take you to some of the people who are creating 50 lakhs rupees by selling milk in a small village for NM. There's so many amazing people, amazing success stories. So kind of, our life is all about journey, like the previous speaker told that. Okay? But most of us are engaged ourselves with the outer journey. We only see the world from the outer, but we never try to explore from inside. What is our inner calling? We never try to connect with our own roots. There are so many amazing things recite, like in Ahmedabad also. How many of you know about our previous speaker, Himansu Patel? He has the base village in India. It's around 80 kilometers away from the Ahmedabad. How many of you know about him? No. But you take inspiration from the people who are sitting thousands of miles away. That's the problem. So that's the thing we have to change. So during my journey as a person also, I have evolved a lot. Every day I'm getting inspiration by seeing these people. Whenever I start some project, I'm not getting the help. I don't, you know, blame the situations and the problems. I see these people without having any resource, you know, any help, they are creating miracles. That is a source of inspiration for me as well. So what I learn using this journey. It's all about always, we only focus on the outer journey, just try to sometimes in our life, at one stage of our life, we have to take a yatra, a journey of awakening, which can connect us with ourselves and our own origin. There will be more success. You can see amazing success stories. During this journey, I also found amazing art that is residing on my own city, centuries old art, which I have never discovered. Let me give you the example of Sujini craft. All of you have heard that? It's a very unique art that Baruch people do. There are only few families, today only three families are working on this art. And after them, they told that now it is on the dying stage. After this family, nobody is going to do this art, to survive this art. So what I do that? We go them, he's the son of that Mujakkar Bai. He's doing this art. So basically, he's an engineering student. And his passion is, I will complete my engineering, go to the big city and do a job. He was an electronic engineer. After meeting him, I told the stories of different role models. I show them, these are the people, look at these people. They are creating miracles in their own city. So instead of going and living, migrating from your own place, try to understand the value of your own locality. Try to identify the in importance. Now he is like convinced that we are going to start a new enterprise in Baruch under new startup policy very soon. So this is kind of, you know, change we are trying to bring using our Yatra. And I hope to see more such Yatras in our nation, which can connect the people with their own locality and own surrounding. Thank you.